All right, so we made it out. We're about 20 miles offshore right now, sitting in 60 feet of water. And what we have here is just a long string of subway cars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up some bottom rigs. When I come out here to these wrecks and reefs, I like to do a, a, a couple different types of fishing. One, bottom fishing. You gotta get big baits down to the bottom if you wanna look for big uh, pelagics. We have the cobia down here, kings down here, the amberjacks are down here. And they love to feed on the bottom pretty good, especially uh, on days like today when the water temperature is a little bit warmer. Those fish will stay down a little bit more. So two baits on the bottom, I'll float one bait straight back and I'll float one bait back mid water column with just a small little pinch on weight. Now we did wind up catching and netting some big pogies on our way out. The croaker game was uh, kind of hit or miss. We got about six to eight or so, which really isn't enough in my opinion, but we do have some monster Manhattan or pogies. So we're gonna throw those things down and look at that, just like I talked about guys, the, the spades have showed up. See the spades right here? So <laughs> we're going to be looking to grab some of those guys too. Those are good eating fish as well. So yeah, that's my buddy calling right now. So we're going to get set up and see if we can get tight on a big fish. Almost feels like big snapper. Big old fast body movement. That's good. Big button maybe. That would be nice. Ooh. It's mad, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> got color. What are you? Big old red snapper. Man, got there are many reds there. Yeah, that's a that's a good one too. I'll lift yeah, her in. Nice. <laughs> yeah, she uh, boy, knotted up that line, huh? All right, big old American red snapper there. I can't even hold on to her. I don't have my fish grippers. We'll go ahead and send her back. It's a delicious fish to uh, to catch, but unfortunately they're out of season right now in Georgia, North Carolina. South Carolina, I think even Florida, we have a two day season this year. And you know, it's just it is what it is. You can't keep them. So we gotta be able to put them back. Unfortunately, I think I might need to get her and vent her. She's on the surface. I don't like to put my hands in the water when we're out here fishing offshore to revive fish because there are sharks around. So we'll see if I can grab her, get her back in properly. All right, got her. Let's run that back. So here we go. This is a homemade improvised descending device. So we're just gonna clip her down just like this. And here's, what, here's how it works, guys. As this thing goes down, it keeps the fish pinned. And then once this 16 ounce weight here hits the bottom, I just pull up and it'll pull that fish free. And this is what is required if you are going offshore, you need a descending device or you need a venting tool. I have both, but I'm interested to use this guy here. So there we go. So the weight's taking her down. And now we're just gonna let it go all the way down to the bottom. So I have it on a hand spool. So I'll just allow the weight to keep going down and pray that a big shark doesn't hit her on the way down. Now, one of the things you can do too is you can put this on a, uh, on a fishing rod and send it down this way, but I don't mind the little hand device here. So now with that 16 ounces, I'm just waiting for it to hit the bottom. So there we are. She's on the bottom. So we'll pull it up. And there you go. As you see, it worked out 
perfect. So the whole point of this, you guys, is just to help the fish with bear trauma. When these fish are coming up from the bottom, they're at a specific uh, kind of uh, state of gravity, and as they get higher in the water column, that swim bladder will swell and they'll swell up. So if you just throw the fish overboard or try to release it like you normally would an inshore fish, it doesn't work out. They're just floating on the surface with a bladder full of air and they'll eventually die or get eaten by another predator fish. So this is absolutely required. Boy, I'm either barely in the structure or I'm out. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. Yeah, that could be an emmerjack. He's coming up now. Nope, just another one of those endangered American red snapper. Yeah, and he, he got gobbled this thing down. And how about that? Another absolute stud, man. And yeah, I'm gonna have to get the vent tool on this guy and get that hook out because she swallowed it down. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. This is what we want. This is what we want. Oh, yeah. That sounds like dinner. <laughs> She's under the boat here, so I gotta get, just give her time. So that's a big, that's a big swim. There she is, I got color. I got a big old AJ. Oh, no, oh, whoa, no, 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 shark. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, did you see that shark, did you get it? Woo Dude, that was almost. That was almost over right there. Golly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there is a beautiful amberjack right there. That's uh that is dinner. Fish tacos, they gotta be 28 to the fork length out here where we are, and this is uh every bit of a 30 plus inch fish. So we're gonna go ahead and get her brain bled and drop back down. But I tell you, man, we pulled up and saw big marks. Come over here and show these marks again. We are still sitting on on fish. Look at those marks down there, guys. Yeah, boy. <laughs> the, the fish that doesn't stop. That's what it is. Could be a king, man. Let's keep going like a walk. Could be. Could be a shark. I don't have to do it. There's really nothing I can do right now. I'll just keep applying a little, a little drag, a little click here and there. That's, that's about the size I want to go. Wink, 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 wink. Big tail. I was hoping she'd slow down a little bit. I'm running. Six. Look at the yellow. That line's getting hot. I'm st I'm still good. I got plenty. Just survived that first big run. I'm gonna have to slow her down. I'm about to get into my backing. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tighten her down to the brakes hit. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we're over. We're getting into the back, and there's a little bit of that red. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I tell you, man, pin battles. You cannot beat these rods, man. They're they're like a hundred. Gosh, boy, that thing's hot. Pin battle two six thousand. You can get these things on Amazon for like a hundred and ten bucks, worth every single penny. Hundred ten bucks, forty for that. Hundred fifty dollar setup. This is a meat stick. I'm gonna have to stick this in the in the water. Man, that thing is hot. You can fry an egg on that. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Caleb just just hand fed a uh, <laughs> a nice keeper cobia. <laughs> Let me get this tackle section cleaned up right here. Walk walk around, stay with him. Yeah, we can gaff him. Yep, there you go. Keep him right there. Yeah, bring him in. We'll work one at a time. All right, turn him. Yeah, that's keeper. 
Yep. All right, now you step down, Caleb, and walk backwards. Dad, stay right there. Let him walk the fish to you. Yep. Yeah. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Put him. Yep. Let him be. That's a keeper. Oh, that was a perfect guess. That was a good guess. Oh, I'm caught. I must say so myself. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Nailed it, Vic. Good job on the gaff, man. Caleb. Nice. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, you can't get a better gaff shot than that. <laughs> There's no meat wasted. Yeah, if you'll hold that up, let's see if I can get in here. I can't believe that gaff didn't didn't kill him. It's 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 there. I was like, dang, I put it right there. All right, here we go, boys. Father, son, Caleb and his dad, Vic. 38 inch on that fish. 38, almost touching 39. Absolute monster. And look at that. That gaff shot can't get any better. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised Vic didn't uh, stone that fish when he gaffed it. But uh, she's good. We're just going to put her back in live well, let her continue bleeding out, get all that meat nice and clean. And I'll tell you what, man, that is going to be some delicious meat. All right, boys, so we're back at the marina and it's time to get these fish filleted up, portioned out and get Mr. Vic as well as his son Caleb back to the house. So listen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was an absolute blast getting out, running to the 20 mile mark and catching some absolute monsters. We had to get out of there because one, we ran out of bait and two, that east wind started kicking up, but not before we can put some nice fish on the boat. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, if you did, hit that thumbs up on the way out and we'll see you next week. Take care, everyone, and God bless. I'm in the sea.